can see BJP leaders there having gathered now with Jagdeep Dhankar. We presume that Prime Minister Modi has of course left from the residence. Uh, those images of Mr. J.P. Nadda, BJP President, uh, Piyush Goel, who in fact is uh, there as well. Pralad Joshi, Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister, at whose residence these celebrations are being held by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Arjun Ram Meghwal as well on your screens at the moment. BJP of course ecstatic over this victory of uh, their nominee in these vice president elections. Uh, you can imagine uh, the excitement in the NDA camp as well, especially because uh, Mr. Dhankar has secured 528 out of 710 votes in this election. It is a mammoth victory that Jagdeep Dhankar has secured for himself and for the NDA in these uh, very prestigious uh, elections uh, to the highest, to the second highest constitutional office in the country. Those pictures from earlier this evening as well from a short while ago when Prime Minister Modi was the first visitor to arrive at 11 Akbar Road to formally go in and congratulate Jagdeep Dhankar after the results were officially announced in Parliament by the Secretary General of the Lok Sabha who was also the returning officer for the Vice President elections. Margaret Alva, his opponent, Mr. Dhankar's opponent, secured only 182 votes, while Mr. Dhankar secured 528 out of 710 votes. A big blow for the opposition, especially because the TMC chose to abstain in these elections. The TMC's argument being that when the Congress and the NCP came together along with other opposition parties to announce the the nomination of Ms. Margaret Alva, Ms. Mamata Banerjee was not consulted. Remember, Mamata Banerjee had taken the lead, in fact, as far as the opposition's choice for the president was concerned. She had consulted Sharad Babar and, in fact, formally suggested that he contest the elections for president and most of the opposition parties, in fact, all of the opposition parties were on board with Mr. Pavar's name, but Mr. Pavar said that he wanted to stay in electoral politics. He did not want to contest the president's election. Then, of course, the name of Mr. Gopal Krishna Gandhi did the rounds, but Mr. Gandhi himself, after being consulted by some of the opposition leaders, chose to pull out of the race because he felt that he did not have the support of all opposition parties as far as his own candidature was concerned, his prospective candidature was concerned. And then the TMC proposed the name of Yashwan Sinha to take on the NDA's nominee then Draupadi Murmu. Yashwan Sinha was a member of the TMC. He was National Vice President of the TMC when he chose to step aside from the Trinamool Congress and contest the President elections. Uh, Draupadi Murmu of course defeated Yashwan Sinha in the President elections and the TMC then stepped away as far as the opposition's uh, campaign to take on the BJP and the NDA's nominee in the Vice President election was concerned. Ms. Mamta Banerjee there saying that a lot of the MPs within the TMC felt that because they were not formally consulted and were only told last minute about the nomination and the choice of uh, Ms. Margaret Alva as the opposition's nominee, with only just a few minutes to go before a press conference to formally announce that name, Ms. Mamta Banerjee chose to stay away from this uh, election. So all her MPs, the TMC has 36 MPs in Parliament, 34 of them abstained today and did not cast their vote to, in fact, in an embarrassing moment for the TMC, cast their vote, Shubendu Adhikari's father, Shishir Adhikari, and Dibendu Adhikari, brother of uh, Shubendu Adhikari, cast his uh, election. Those pictures, of course, uh, of uh, the celebrations uh, that are happening inside 11 Akbar Road as uh, members of the BJP celebrate this moment uh, of uh, Jagdeep Dhankar's landslide victory in the vice president elections which